In a prior video, I've shown you how you could create a navigation bar in Streamlit. And you'll notice that in the st.metric that we've used, the border color is blank. And so in this video, I'm going to show you how you could modify the border color of the st.metric, which you could use in developing your very own dashboard web application. And so without further ado, we're starting right now. All right, and so let's get started. So the first thing that you wanna do is you're going to fire up your terminal and then you want to activate your own conda environment and my conda environment is called data professor so i'll activate that conda activate data fester so make note that this is your own conda environment and if you don't know how to activate the conda environment or create your conda environment i'll provide you the link to a video that i've made on everything that you need to know how to use conda and so now that we have activated it you notice that the name of environment is shown here. And now I'm going to move to the directory where we have the files, sandbox, and the folder is called metric. So we have two files here, app.py and the style.css. So the application will be stored in here and the modification to the border color will be stored in the style.css file. So why don't we run the file? Streamlit run app.py. All right. And so you'll notice here that we've added the border color to be slightly dark gray. And then we added a light gray as the background color so that we'll be able to make the st.metric contrast the background color of white. And so let me show you how it looks like before we added this customized CSS styling. So we'll have to use the VS code here. So I'll move this left, left part, and then this will be the right hub tab. All right, so these are the CSS styling that we've made. So the background color here, we specify it to be light gray. And the border color, which is at the edge here, specify it to be light gray. So let's see if we added FFFF, which will be white, so that we'll see how it looks like before adding the color or even why don't we just we'll just comment it okay so we'll just comment it here and then we'll run it again so i have to run it from within here Set run it here i'll activate from here again activate environment then let's see where am i pwd is for print working directory so i'm in the current working directory so i'll type in streamlet run app.app.y okay so it looks like this. So without the border color, the ST metric looks like this. So we'll see that there are three columns because in the code here, we had three columns. So the code is created on only nine lines of code. So the first line will essentially be importing Streamlit as ST. And line number three will be opening up the style.css and we'll assign it to the F variable. And then we'll use the st.markdown. And as import argument, we're going to use the F string. And inside the F string, string we're going to add the html code and then we're going to specify it to replace the content of f.read with the contents of style.css that we have in here and then on lines number six we're going to create three columns using the st.columns and input argument of three and then for each of the column we're going to add the st.metric and so these were taken from the documentation of streamlit so let me show you streamlit docs st.metric So what I've essentially done was copy this code and then use it as an example here, okay? So I'll provide you the link to that in the video description. And so the ability to add border color and border background will allow you to distinguish the st.metric from the background of the app. And I personally think that it also looks pretty awesome too. So let me uncomment all of these, save it, refresh it, and then we'll have the custom style here. So what we've essentially done was we first have to figure out this part of the code. So what is the st.metric called in the Streamlit app? So in order to do that, you have to open up your Chrome. You have to click on View, Developer, Inspect Elements. So let me expand this a bit. 
Okay, and so let's have a look at the elements here. So when we hover our mouse onto the st.metric column here, you're gonna notice that there's gonna be a pop-up, which will tell us that this element is called div css-1r6slb0.e1tzin5v2. So we can see that the background color here is the light gray, and you'll also be able to see other aspects dimensions of the particular elements, the margin, padding, etc. And we'll notice that the other st.metric also has the same name. And so in order to modify the color, we'll have to specify the name of the elements. So we do it here and we do it inside the style.css file. And then we have an opening and a closing braces. And then we have the various attributes here. So what we wanted to do, let me close this. So what we wanted to do was modify the background color. So we specified here, background color to be light gray. We wanted to make the border color to be slightly darker gray. You could also make it black if you like, or any other color here. If I make it black, it looks like this. So I just wanna make it a bit subtle, a bit darker, right? Or even here, how about this, dark gray? So you could go ahead and go to the HTML color codes and then you'll be able to choose your favorite color. Let's say that we're gonna use this color that we just paste it here, save it, refresh it, and then you have this reddish color or you can make the background background to be light pink if you like. Find a light pink color here. And then we paste the color here, fresh it, and there you have it. You have your very own customized colors here. And the border here is the width of the border. Here I specify to be one. You can modify this to be other number as you see fit. So it looks a bit darker here as it's a bit thicker. And then the padding here are on the sides. I specify it to be 20 to 20, 70. I think I left it here. Oh, it's redundant. You could specify it to be in pixel or in percent if you like. So let me use percentage. It looks the same. And then the border the radius, I specify it to be 10 pixels. And what if it's zero? What happens? Have a look. So you notice that it becomes a square. So when the border radius is specified, we'll have rounded edges like that. So make it a little bit less. So it's 10. Save it. Okay. You can modify the color to your own liking. Five. All right, and so that's essentially it. So in order to modify the properties of this element, we use the stdart markdown, and then we embed the code from the style.css. So let me know in the comments down below which aspect of Streamlit do you want me to experiment with and probably hack the styling? And I love to read all of your comments. And so all of the codes mentioned here in this tutorial will be provided in the GitHub repo in the video description. Thank you for watching until the end of this video. If you made it this far, drop a fire emoji in the comments down below and smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and also hit on the notification bell so that you'll be notified of the next video. And as always, the best way to learn data science is to do data science. And please enjoy the journey.